Doctors had some exciting news for us today. They have found a way to regenerate mus muscle tissue in patients with traumatic injuries. Don Daler shows us how they did it. Ten years ago, a ski accident nearly destroyed the lower muscle of Nicholas Clark's left leg. Anytime I took a step in part of that stride where I had to balance on my left leg, you know, I was wobbling. Um, and those were things that, that weren't going to get better. But they did. Scientists used a protein substance taken from a pig's bladder to create a scaffold for new muscle to grow. Dr. Stephen Badalak of the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine directs the research. This is a major step forward because many people have been trying to form new functional muscle tissue uh, uh, by all, all sorts of approaches. First, scientists remove any cells from the pig's tissue that could be rejected. Then thin sheets are placed at the site of the injury during surgery. This material contains molecules that send a signal to attract stem cells, which then turn into human muscle cells. The exciting thing is that we are forming brand new functional muscle tissue uh, at, at a place that would not normally form and we're making a difference in the patient's lives. Come up one of your toes. Battleax says immediate physical therapy kickstarts the regeneration process. Clark's rehab began just two days after surgery. I feel like I have a, a natural walk where people probably can't tell when they see me that, that, I, that I have any sort of issue. So I feel much, much more comfortable in public now too. The study is sponsored by the Department of Defense. Three of the five patients were soldiers. Scott, none of them got back 100% of their muscle, but they all had improvements in mobility, strength, or basic tasks. Don Daler, thank you, Don.